I'm going to show you how you could uh, input or map your controller settings without the need for the annoying tool, which is uh, three, um, X360. This is a really popular tool. I do not know how to use this. I shouldn't lie, guys. I do not know how to use this. Whenever I, I open this software, it just gives me hell. So for those of you who are like me, who do not know how to use this and you want to map your... Um, uh, you want to map your controller settings, your controller keys to your game easily, like within just seconds, watch this video. I hope that you have Steam installed, so this method I'm going to use Steam, it's very easy, it works for all game parts as of far. Uh, I had FIFA installed, uh, which uh, FIFA, FIFA 2023 has this issue whereby you would fail to uh, game because the controllers are not recognizable. I fixed this um, using this uh, method. If you have downloaded FIFA, I had I had FIFA here, you could see I had FIFA here, I deleted it of course. So if you had downloaded FIFA or if you had downloaded any kind of video which you want to use your key, which you want to use your um, gamepad zone and it's not available on Steam as, as of, uh, you didn't download it full Steam, it's easy. You just go on your left hand side, you could drop down here, you could go on your left hand side and you see add a game and then you select add and steam game then you look for the location of your game the exe file where it is and you simply just click on it and add it like i can click on CapCut and add it to steam so it CapCut will show um in steam so yeah like here i've added as an example CapCut will show on steam so um uh to make this easy uh, like once you d once you have done that uh i will use this uh, e-football example video game of course it works properly it works fine uh once you have uh, your game added to steam what you need to do is go to the settings icon here uh which is like manage once you click manage you go to um once you click manage uh you go to um let's see here you go to properties once you go to properties, you go to controller. Once you go to controller, once you go to controller, you select use default settings. Uh, you can select enable steam import. You can select enable steam import. You can select disable steam import. But basically, you, you, you need to select enable steam import. So once you select enable steam import, what this does is that it literally installs all the settings uh, for the kind of controllers that you have it will store remote play it will store um it will store the maps for team controller steam controller generally controller nintendo switch playstation xbox controller so this is actually going to help your uh, game if you want to learn uh, the game using the controller that you have just select play here and your game is going to launch easily and it's going to actually your your controller is going to actually work so that's the easiest way you going you can map controllers on uh games that are that you're finding difficulty to map to map on uh and also it's just that i hate this too it's very very inconvenient i have to manually select everything and also check my gamepad steam just uh literally oblique uh oblique obligates uh literally just destroys this process uh if you like this video you could subscribe for more and also don't forget to um give me a like because it helps with the algorithm